Hi there. My name is Timothy Poitra, and I'm a technical writer on the OpenShift documentation team. Today I'm going to show you how quickly you can get a project and application up and running on OpenShift Enterprise version 3.2. Once you've ensured that you have everything you need to get started, it's time to fork the sample repository. Visit github.com slash openshift slash ruby hyphen ex, then click the fork button in the upper right corner. Choose your own user icon and you'll be taken to your new forked repository. Click clone or download. Then click the clipboard icon to copy the location to clone. Next, from the command line, navigate to the directory where you want the local clone to reside. Then type git clone and paste in the location you copied from GitHub. You'll likely need to authenticate and then your forked repository will be cloned to your local machine. Navigate into your new local repository, and you'll be back here later, so you can leave this window open. Now navigate to the web console. Log in with your username and password, and you'll see the main web console screen. If you have membership to any projects, they'll be listed here. We're going to click New Project to create one. Type a unique name, a display name that'll be used within the web console, and a description of your project, then click Create. Now we're ready to create an application. Click Browse and select Ruby from the drop-down list. This filters available builder images, templates, and quick start applications. From the builder images listed, select the Ruby colon latest template. Next, give your application a name, such as Ruby hyphen EX, and provide the GitHub repository URL for the repo you forked earlier. You can just click Try It to paste in the GitHub example URL and replace OpenShift with your GitHub username. You can take a look at advanced settings, but by default, this example application creates a route, a webhook trigger, and build change triggers. Scroll down and click Create. The Application Created screen has instructions on how to set up command line tools that allow you deeper control of OpenShift. Next, Click Continue to Overview to see the progress your build is making. At this point, OpenShift starts creating your application within your project, and this can take some time. I've taken the liberty of speeding things up for this video. The application's resources are created first, and then the Ruby application is built. You can click Browse and take a look at the various resources that are being created, like the pods, routes, and services. Back at the overview, while the Ruby pod is being created, a donut chart shows it as in progress. The Ruby application is being built via the OpenShift source to image builder, which combines the provided source from your fork with the Ruby builder image to create a new image where your application will run. Once the deployment donut chart turns blue, click the route address. This is the external address that you use to access your application. We're going to change this title in the code. But first, we'll set up a webhook so that when you push code changes to your fork, your application will automatically update. From the Browse tab, click Builds to see the list of builds. Click your Ruby build, then click the Configuration tab. This is where you grab the webhook URL to configure GitHub. Click the clipboard icon to copy the address, then visit your forked repository on GitHub. Make sure you're logged in, then click Settings, Click Webhooks and Services, and then click Add Webhook. Paste the copied URL into the Payload URL field. Now a word of caution. In my test environment, I need to disable SSL, but I definitely do not recommend doing that. Next, click Add Webhook. GitHub will ping your OpenShift server to ensure that communication is successful and that your push notifications will get through. You can see here that mine is correctly configured. OK, now we are going to write a code change and push it to our fork. Edit the config.ru file with your favorite text editor. On line 229, you'll see the page title for the sample app. Modify the title and save your changes. Back on the command line, run git status to see your modified file. Add the changes and then make a commit. Run git status again to make sure you're clean and ready to push, and then run git push. You'll likely need to authenticate, and then your changes will be pushed to your fork. A few seconds later, the webhook trigger fires and a new build begins. 
the status will change from pending to running and eventually to completed. While it is running, you can click View Log from the Overview page to check on the progress of the new build. Once the build is complete, visit the web address for your application, which can be found on the Overview page. If you loaded it previously, you may need to refresh the page. And here we see the changes we just pushed, which were triggered automatically by our webhook. This is a simple app, just a welcome screen with details about OpenShift, but this process allows you to develop your application and very quickly push your changes with the rest of the build process fully automated. Thank you for watching. I'll be creating some more videos for you in the near future.